Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Sco, and today I'll be going over the top 10 back to school shoes for 2019. I'll give you the price range, retail, colors, and everything that you need to know about each of these shoes. And I just wanna say there's other great shoes right now, but these are the 10 that I had to pick. And so yeah, let's get right into it. So for the number 10 spot, we're gonna have to get to Nike React Prex Presto. And I really like the normal Presto, but this one right here is just something different. And it has the React uh, cushioning, which is very good. And the technology is very comfortable. It's one of Nike's new and best technologies. And I really feel like a lot of people would really like the shoe. The real retail price is 120. So it's definitely on the cheaper end for something with that good of cushioning, which I feel like is very good and a lot of people definitely like. Number nine spot we have here, the Nike Vapor Max. And there is a lot of different colorways for this shoe. Um, I have two, both mine are all white, um, but I know there's definitely a lot different colors. Everybody likes Vapor Maxes. I know you're looking at them and they're a little bit weird. Like they're not a normal shoe that you would expect. But a lot of people like Vapor Maxes, and if they're not your thing, I completely understand that. But there's all the colors you could possibly want. Pink, orange, blue, red, black, white, anything that you want. Uh, yeah, they're definitely really comfortable. It's definitely, so out of cushioning of all the shoes right now, it would definitely go Boost, and then React, Nike React, and Nike Air, just straight up Air, are definitely the most comfortable cushioning. And the Vapormax have a all air bubble uh, unit as the technology for the cushioning, which is very good and a lot of people really like it. I personally like it myself and they retail at 190, which I know is steep. So I know that could definitely be uh, really risky for some people like I, I can't afford that, but I definitely understand that. But if you have the price range, I would definitely recommend these. At our number eight spot, we have the Adidas Ultra Boost retailing at $180. And I know, again, that is also really steep and it's just $10 lower than the Vapor Max. And I completely understand if you can't afford it, but there is a reason that they are this high in price. And that is because they have the most comfortable cushioning and technology out of every shoe out there. They kind of are up there with Yeezys and that's it. And there's a reason why everyone likes Yeezys, not just because of Kanye. But Ultra Boost, really comfortable, really clean. There's definitely a colorway out there for everyone, which I feel like is always a plus. Uh, when you're getting a new shoe like maybe you don't want to just have a black and white shoe that you have like a bunch of like really clean like you always have the white bands and you just want to mix up your thing and your diversify your whole wardrobe and you want to get a colorful pair of ultra boots which you can but you can also get a black and white pair if that's kind of your thing i know some people don't like going out of their way to get like a really colorful pair of shoes i completely understand that as well but i feel like ultra boost one of the best options you can get the only reason they're at number eight spot is because the hype is definitely on downfall, but they are still really good. At our number seven spot, we have the Air Max 720 retailing at $180. Now, this is a new pair of Air Maxes, and I really like them. I'm hoping to get a pair myself. Uh, I know a lot of people will say like uh, the air bubble around the whole thing is just too much for me which I understand, but I feel like sometimes you need to try something new. Air is really comfortable, and the only worry would be like maybe if that air bubble pops, but I really doubt that'll happen. Uh, there's always, there's, in this shoe, there's not a lot of black or white colorways. I know I'm showing you an all white pair right now, but a lot of the colorways are really clean on uh, like outstanding and out of their way colors, which I really recommend if like, you like a pair of shoes that has uh, just green, blue, yellow, like all these colors that aren't like normally on a shoe that like aren't out there and really you're not gonna get a lot of attention for, but if you like those colors, I recommend getting this shoe because it is has a lot of colorways that look really well in these brighter colors. At our number six spot, we have the Air Max 97 retailing at a price of $160. These shoes are a classic. Everybody loves a pair of Air Max 97s. Um, and they're really clean. There's not much I can really say about them. Everybody knows about 97s. I mean, they were made in 1997. Why wouldn't you know about them? Um, they have an air unit around. I feel like the air isn't as comfortable as you'd expect because 
the cushioning is kind of just around the air bubble it's not really the air bubble itself which i feel like could uh weigh your decision on picking a different shoe of comfort is your main option um with, i have a pair of air max 97s i really like the look my biggest problem is i feel like the laces are too long which shouldn't be a problem for most people uh the next thing i want to get into is the colorways are really well are really good for this shoe uh, i feel like they're really there's some really different ones there's definitely a lot of uh colorways that are just for certain events and if you're into like you know there's a black history month there's have a good nike day for nike day of the year there's always just some weird different air max 97 colorways which i feel like a lot of people could like at our number five spot we have the nike epic react retailing at a price of 150 dollars and this shoe is really comfortable i have a pair actually right here and this shoe my colorway i know is a little bit different than a lot of people's but i have the south beach colorway i really like the south beach vibe and a lot of the clothes and shoes that they have and i really like uh just the cushioning here i don't know if you can see this but when you push in it actually pushes in a lot of these shoes the like comfort and the cushioning technology is just kind of for show uh these shoes if you're going out and running is a great option i've actually recommended these to a couple of my friends and i recommend them to you guys as well these are definitely one of the best shoes for back to school the epic react and just the react cushioning in general is definitely on its way up it definitely has not reached its peak for hype or anything like that if that's kind of your thing uh yeah this shoe really comfortable really lightweight i know you wouldn't i know it's kind of looks like it'd be light but it is very lightweight more than i was expecting when i first got them but yes i really recommend this shoe that's why it's my number five spot at our number four spot we have the jordan retro 3 at a price of 200 dollars and i know that's a little steep and a lot of people can't afford that but i really recommend looking on StockX and goat for a pair of jordan threes because there's a lot of colorways that actually go from about 100 to 150 dollars on those websites and apps because uh they didn't just live up to the hype but the colorways are still really good which i definitely recommend getting a pair of jordan threes if you're looking for retros they're definitely the most all-around shoe they're not really outgoing and not a lot of people are going to be like what are those but a lot of people are going to be actually acknowledging hey those are jordan threes they're really good and yeah there's an air bubble unit in it it's not a huge air bubble but you know you got to deal with what you got to deal with and so yeah that was why i put the jordan 3 at the number four spot at the number three spot we have the adidas nmd retailing at a price of 130 dollars this shoe is definitely a normal shoe that you're seeing nowadays which is very good because boost is amazing i really recommend if you just are going for comfort definitely get a boost shoe if you're into adidas but if you're into nike definitely go to air nmds are really cheap for having boost at about 130 dollars and you can definitely find cheaper on StockX and go and you can never find more expensive and more hype pairs of of nmds on these websites as well if that's kind of what you're into but if you're just looking for a nice uh, comfortable pair of shoes that you can wear every day i definitely recommend nmds because the price range isn't too much that you're worried um about like you know not ruining them and everything like that i feel like nmds is your perfect all-around shoe if you're going to go pick one if every colorway imaginable which is always a plus when you're getting a new pair of shoes at our number two spot we have the air force one low at 110 dollars these shoes, everybody knows about Air Forces. Do I really need to go into this? Uh, there's always your all white pair, which everybody usually likes. Uh, Air Forces aren't really my thing, but I know they're everybody else's thing. I just got a pair of Air Forces actually, but mine aren't, um, here actually, I'll grab them for you. So these are my Air Forces. And I know what you're thinking, uh, why are they lime green? Well. I don't know i don't really like the all white air forces but i know a lot of people do um so that's why i'm actually putting them as the picture right here so yeah these are definitely different um they're the utility version there's a lot of different types of air forces which is definitely a plus and i definitely think that you could go out of your comfort zone get a different pair of shoes just like i did 
At our number one spot, we have the Air Max 270 at a price of $150. And I know that's a that's a decent actually price for Air Maxes, and I know they're a year old, or about a year to two years old, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I know the hype's kind of died down on them, which could be a good thing because then the prices are also going down, which if you're not like, oh yeah, I gotta get that next hype shoe, these are going to be your shoe. And there's a reason I put them at the number one spot. Maybe these wouldn't be the number one on everybody else's list, but they are on mine because I have a pair of them. I just recommended a pair of them to my friends and he already really likes his and I really like mine. I use mine whenever I go out. If I wanna, you know, go on a run, if I wanna play basketball outside, uh, these can do anything you want. They are really comfortable. They don't wear out as easily as a lot of other shoes, which I think is a major plus. So yes, that was why they are my number one spot. There's also a lot of colorways, which is always good. Same with all the other Air Maxes. So yes. So yeah, this has been my top 10 back to school shoes for 2019. If you guys uh, have any other recommendations, comment down below so if someone actually is looking through and actually looking for a pair of shoes, they can see another recommendation. That's always good, help each other out. So yeah, if you guys liked the video, please like and comment. It helps a ton. I've been trying to get to 500. It would help a lot. So yeah, subscribe if you're new. Join the crew. You already know what to do. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.